Hello, welcome to the Tech Cave. My name is RJ, and today's video we're discussing prepared, prepared uh, P3D, whatever you want to call it, version four. And I've done some videos on this, um, just talking about that. You know, it's coming out. I um, pointed a few links um, that people or third parties have been working on this uh, with um, with LM and uh, teams at Orbex and a few others have already got their, their their stuff out there although there's a lot of stuff that's incompatible at the moment but it's all mainly aircraft so if you can look uh, on this um, this uh, I've just got this paused at the moment um, this is a local area to me and there's my scenery that I created six months or so ago and I've just put the links straight across into version 4 and everything's working fine so if you look at the file structure there there's all my BGL files that are created and just local surrounds where I am, my scenery. And I just added that in there. Um, there's my version 3 and version 4 is sat quite happily next to it. So you can have version 3 and version 4. Version 4 currently is not supported in VR through um, Fly Inside. Although I believe that Dan's working on it at the moment um, furiously. I Everybody go into his forum and please ask him to uh, put it on the front burner. I know he's working uh, a lot on X-Plane, um, but we wanted to get that version 4 up and running because um, it works really quite well in version 3. Um, the VR version of um, LM's VR is just its a bit of a joke. I don't know why they bothered to even put it in there because it kind of makes them look a bit bad that they, I don't know, they don't really know what they're doing. It just doesn't work very well. Um, when you compare it to Flying Side, which works amazingly well, um, and that's just like one little small independent developer. So LM shouldn't have really put it out there. It just kind of, it's like a, a pre-alpha, alpha, alpha, what, you know, it's, yeah, anyway, uh, I digress. So um, going back to um, where were we, scenery. So it all works fine. So all the file system is pretty much identical. There's not much differences. So, you know, all those sceneries and things, you can just put links across to them um, and copy and paste them, you know, move all your stuff over, all your custom stuff you can move over. The things that are not going to work um, are things like your airport side of things or, you know, uh, things that create, uh, that need the um, dynamic link libraries and things like that and the aircraft. So those are the things that have really got to be updated to work with the 64-bit version. So 64-bit, as it helped out a lot, as it made the um, performance a mass, you know, a massive leap, an epic leap in in performance of FPS and 4K and all the rest of it. No, not really. Um, mildly quicker. So I mean that's a positive, I suppose. Um, so. Uh, it's, um, I mean, I'm looking at this from, I wanted, you know, all the glorious um, HDR, I wanted all the um, custom scenery, and also in VR, running at a minimum 45 frames per second, so it can double up to 90 FPS. Um, I don't think it's quite there, and if you, um, if we get up my uh, GPU there, um, da -da -da, GPU load, it never really gets above, if you can see there in the middle of the GPU load, it never really gets above 60%. And this is a Titan um, Pascal um, XP, by the way. So we're still not being able to utilize all of um, the hardware that is currently there. Um, we're still limited by the CPU. So they haven't managed to, to crack that nut yet. And I don't think they're going to, unless they get to DirectX 12 or use the, the Vulkan software. Um, hopefully that would do it. I mean, I can't, you know, uh, I'm no software developer, so, I, uh, you know, that's not a guarantee that that is going to work, but um, whether they can do that. So, um, updating to version 4, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's just the next progression. Things are just getting incrementally better. Is it, I suppose, going to 64-bit that's going to help because you can, you can really uh, sort of add on a lot of the textures and things, uh, which is not going to slow it down. But these load times... They're still not that better. They're still not uh, great on the texture. I'm still getting when you're flying over things, you can still see the textures sort of resolving as you as you're sort of coming over them. Whereas when I've done custom uh, scenery in Explain, doesn't doesn't seem to happen as much. Um, I mean, it looks great, it looks okay up here, but you can see. I don't know if you just see to the top left of the wingtip there, it's all blurred out, so that 
that load distance um, sort of disappears and then you kind of get a bit closer and then it starts to reappear again so yeah there's you know the, the trees they've updated the trees that looks good um, but we're still limited with this um, CPU business so there we go um, if you're if you're thinking of buying a, f a flight simulator and you're not look looking for something like a specific airfield or a specific plane type that you want to fly because um, you know the, the from the Microsoft legacy you can get so much from this sort of simulator you may be better off looking at um, X plane potentially there's a, a, a limited a more limited scope of um, airfields um, other they are becoming more and more every year uh, another one that is quite interesting um, that's uh, Orbex uh, are coming out with um, uh, what they're doing they're doing the Innsbruck package um, is Aerofly FS2 and that's one I've um, I've looked at before and out of the box it's it's really good works really well and um, the performance on it is pretty good as well um, so they may be work, you know moving in the right direction so if they start coming out with more of the airframes uh, you know variants of pleat for people to fly and the yeah you know, the um, that gets a lot more momentum behind that then that may be the future um, uh, an x-plane so I don't think unless unless LM really sort of push out the um, direct x12 or Vulcan I don't think that you know they can really push it that much further for the next sort of 10 years plus so anyway um, I'm digressing here yet again we're going back to um, prepared and say not a massive difference um, oh by the way um, what a nice little feature when you go in is that you can go straight into the menu system before starting the um, before starting up the sim and go into all these graphics and these and sort of change all this around however um, you can't add on when you go into world you can't add on um, uh, the scenery so you have to go into the game and then add on to go into your scenery library just a little little thing there I don't know why they didn't bother putting that in um, low time seem a bit a bit quicker though anyway so but there we go there's my uh, you know five pennies worth of uh, what version 4 is as I carry on to play this a little bit more and try and sort of delve into the VR side of it then uh, I'll update video if you've got any comments, you've got any questions just regarding version 4, then post them in the comments below and I can either answer them there or do an update video and um, put on it in uh, that you request for a version 4 update. Okay, well, thanks for watching anyway. My name is RJ and this is the Tech Cave and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.